Hello, thanks for tuning in today. I'm your host, Cedric the Credit Champion. And today, listen, I got an exciting show for you. I'm going to teach you how you can make plenty of money. But before we get into it, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Now, like the video. Let's get the likes up. It helps YouTube to share the video throughout its platform. Now, the music you hear in the background, that's a track from a song that I'm working on right now. And um, it's going to be out this summer. I got eight tracks coming out this summer that are going to be like lit. You're going you're gonna to love them. Kingdom music. And um, listen, a lot of people are underestimating their ability to make wealth through the rap industry. Now, if you don't know the story about Lil Baby, listen, Lil Baby, he did not want to rap. But P, the owner of QC, encouraged him to rap. He was a street guy, just like P was. But P said once he became an uh, owner, you know, of a record company, he said he saw that there was some real money that could be made in rap. And so he encouraged Lil Baby to rap. Well, Lil Baby was hesitant, but Lil Baby tells a story how Young Thug gave him $10,000 to get out the street and focus on rapping. And as you know, Lil Baby is one of the hottest artists out now. I use him for an example because it shows you that sometimes the way that you're going to become rich isn't how you think you're going to become rich. Lil Baby thought he was going to become rich by selling drugs. That's where his heart was. That was his passion was in the streets. But he ended up becoming a rap artist and becoming rich. See, so the point is that a lot of people are sleeping on different ways to become rich. Now listen, there's nothing wrong with going to college. But let me tell you, college does not set you up to be rich as long as you understand that. Most people who go to college, they're going to get set up for a job. Okay, now there's a difference between having a good job and being rich. So you have to understand, if you want to be rich, you got to do something that's going to make you rich. Nothing wrong with going to college. Nothing wrong with getting a good job. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in this video being rich. All right, making like a million in a year. All right, and so one of the ways you can do that is through the rap industry, right? Now you might say, I'm not that good at rapping. You don't have to be that good. Have you ever heard a song that wasn't that good and it sold a million copies? A song that you say, man, that wasn't that good, but it, the guy won a Grammy for it or the woman won a Grammy. The music nowadays just has to sound good. That's the bottom line. You can make a song, say the same thing over and over and over, but if it sound good, the ear is the judge now. You hear, look, some of these rappers who can really rap get criticism. Not everybody like Lil Baby. They call that mumble rap some places. You see what I'm saying? But does it really matter? They don't call it mumble rap no more, but at first they were trying to like put out his fire, but when they seen those um, insults, couldn't stop him. They just shut up now, you know, because you look crazy now because he's so successful, you see. And it's what everybody is listening to. You know, all the young people love Lil Baby. All the you know, young people, they love the, the new artists that are out. And so the older guys who are really into lyrics and um, lyrical mastery, you know, really putting words together, articulating and it don't mean it. it don't mean anything no more now. You know, you can use auto tunes, you know, and just, you know, be a successful artist. Cause at the end of the day, it's about making money. You see what I'm saying? And so yeah, that is one way that you can make some good money. And really, look, people are gonna criticize you no matter what you do. That's one thing I learned in life. You cannot live by the opinion of other people. At the end of your life, you're going to have to be able to say, I did my best to become successful, to use my gifts, to do everything I could to put me and my family in a better position. 
And that's what it's about. All right? So, listen. Get your credit up. Get your credit up. You know, a lot of you, you, you hear me talk about credit. you like, well, what difference is it going to make? Let me tell you what difference is going to make. When you get those $4,000 credit cards in the mail and there's 0% interest for 15 months, you can take that $4,000. You can make money off somebody's $4,000. Cause see, when you use credit, what you're doing is you're buying money. You're buying money with your credit. So you use your credit, get the credit card. Now you're going to have 0% interest for 15 months. So, what can you do with that? What could you do with $4,000 now? Don't go shopping with the money. That's what messes a lot of people up. They use their credit cards to go shopping with. Now, I do, you know, go shop with my credit card, you know, from time to time. But that's not the main purpose of it. I thought it was a string that's designed to <laughs> try to get that string off. But yeah, anyway, that's not the main purpose of your credit card. You got to understand that, all right? So, look, what I'm telling you is this. Get your credit fixed. Then start working on your rap career, right? Start writing your rhymes down. It might take you some time. Look, when I was 16 years old, well, matter of fact, I was young at 16. When I was growing up in College Park, Georgia, I used to just listen to V103 and just write rhymes. That was back when LL Cool J first came out. That was back when Ice-T first came out. Run DMC. You know, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all don't. If you don't know, ask your parents about Run DMC, the kings of rock, you know, the kings of rap. Then LL Cool J came out. He, he claimed to be the king, you know, all through rap, people are claiming to be the king, so that's just the rap culture. But yeah, I can remember just writing rhymes. All right, so this time when I came and I had to start writing, I couldn't think of anything to say. But as I began to practice, different flows began to formulate, right? And I realized not every song is going to be a lyrical song. Some songs are just to bounce to. Some songs, you're going to say the same thing over and over with a slight change in the, the lyrics, you know, just to make a rhyme, but just the same thing over and over with a good beat. And so I'm not going to give away all the sauce, all right? You got to go to my OnlyFans for that. Um, getting this OnlyFans page together so I can really give out some real sauce that's going to take you to another level, all right? Well, listen, I thank you for tuning in to this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. Listen, I'm helping people with financial literacy. I'm helping people to level up. So, hey, I'm set the credit champion. Until next time, go ahead and start writing your raps, okay? Till next time, I'm here to motivate you.